see the lack of humility before nature that's being displayed here um, staggers me. But don't you see the danger uh, in what you're doing here? Genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen, but you wield it like a, a kid that's found his dad's gun. I, I, if I may, um, I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're, that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility. And before you even knew what you had, you, you patented it and packaged it and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox, and now you're selling it. You want to sell it. Well, our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. I mean, how can we stand in the light of discovery and, and not act? Oh, what's so great about discovery? It's a violent, penetrative act that scars what it explores, what you call discovery. I call the rape of the natural world. This is going to be a great video. As you know, I'm the leading expert in carnivore deterioration, and I love reviewing carnivore deteriorators. It looks like Kelly Hogan has more content for us. Now she's in trouble. I want to know what the hell is up with Kelly's outfit here. What's this supposed to be? That is not cute looking. Imagine going out in public wearing that crap. It's like big pockets on a long cami. But does it extend downward like a dress, or does it have pant legs? Learn how to dress, for one thing. And I did notice Kelly isn't showing off her malnourished stomach. Isn't that strange? She always did that because she believed she had abs when she didn't. I know she watches my videos, and she understands how much I criticize her stomach. Now Kelly is trying to cover up her mistakes. If her abs are getting bigger, why is she wearing this stupid outfit and not showing them off? I, I actually see your point. Kelly, unfortunately, lives the rest of her life without any breasts, still as flat-chested as ever. You can check out my other video I made where Kelly admits many parts of her shrunk the longer she's been on the carnivore diet. Significant shrinkage. Look at the skin. It's getting that reddish color that carnivores are known for. Very unattractive. Humans should not be red. We're not lobsters. Why are carnists obsessed with trying to be other animals like lions and now sea creatures? Nonsense. Look at these pencil arms. That is not a bicep bump. That's literally her arm bone with skin sagging downwards. Plus, the lighting makes it seems like her bicep grew. Everything Kelly does is all light and angles. Look how thin her arms are in this photo. So frail. This is where the good stuff is. Get a load of this lame-ass face. Have you ever seen anything more pathetic than that forced smile? There's a shadow casted on her face from her hat brim but that has nothing to do with the dark circles forming underneath her eyes and going across the bridge of her nose. She looks like she has a black eye, like someone punched her. Her lower portion of the nose is still as red as ever. That's gonna fall off, trust me. There's not enough nutrients allowing proper blood flow into her face. This will turn black and then die and fall off. <gasps> Before I forget, did you know there's an actual medical term for people who develop this type of facial appearance when they've been on the carnivore diet long term? I kid you not, it's called carnivore rot face. We're going to end this video off with a bang. First of all, I noticed Kelly didn't hashtag anything. No carnivore diet, no eat the meat save the humans, nothing. She does this in a lot of her posts. So why stop now? Does she secretly know the carnivore diet is failing her? Do you think she's slowly trying to distance herself from anything carnivore-related? This is the gaslighting I keep talking about. These carnivore cult leaders slowly go back to eating plants. Then when someone calls them out, they'll show previous posts where they have nothing about them supporting the carnivore diet, making you think you're the one who's crazy. I'm not crazy! I always love looking at the comments on Kelly's posts to see how delusional her followers are. Check this top one out. Thrifty McThrift Face Girl says, I have been following you for a long time, and they know it's a gradual change for you. But you need to start throwing some carbs, and you are getting too thin. Uh-oh. And I bet this is why Kelly got punched in the face and caused her eyes to go black. This comment has 80 likes. Ah, shit! These aren't from my followers, because I didn't let anyone know about this post until now. Can you believe that? 80 people who thought Kelly was this magnificent queen in health are now turning against her. And I took this screenshot a couple weeks ago, so I bet more people liked this comment. Then we could fuck that bitch up good so she stays fucked up. How many videos do I have to make to prove to her followers that she's dying on the carnivore diet? It's not just me. The same people who supported Kelly are now agreeing with vegans like myself. Get the picture? 
I'll tell you how Kelly destroyed her entire image from this one post. Not only are her followers turning against her and want her to consume carbs, but Kelly also goes by my zero carb life. Not low carb life, zero carb. Kelly sells merchandise with the zero carb name. Shirts, hoodies, hats, tank tops. She can't consume any carbs at all. Not even a little bit, because the second she gets caught eating carbohydrates, that proves to everyone she knew nothing about healthy diets. True. Very true. We can conclude that Kelly Hogan is in fact dying. Her followers are now agreeing with me. They're telling her to stop comparing herself when she was bigger because the thinner you are doesn't mean you're healthier. Kelly decided to cover up her stomach because she knows how emaciated her body became. She's finally starting to realize nobody wants to see that. Completely boobless, biceps are non-existent, and of course suffering from rot face. Everything all lines up perfectly for proper deterioration. All I do is report the facts. I didn't do this to her, so don't blame me. It's all her fault. The carnivore diet is a cult. I proved it many times. And finally, people are waking up, realizing the cult leaders they follow are complete idiots. I know the truth will hurt her. We don't care, no, we don't care. Carnism is cancer.